What's up guys, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials for beginners on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some steps that we usually overlook but could be very important to our mixing process. So let's take for instance, you have a project that you did not record yourself, sent to you by a client or somebody and you're about to mix this project. So there are a lot of things that you do not know, assuming you haven't been given the information. So before you start mixing any project that you did not record yourself, there are a few things that you need to know. You need to know the tempo. You also need to know the key in which this project was done so that it will be easy for you to mix. I'm showing you exactly how to do these steps or how to find the key of the song, how to find the tempo and how to prepare your project in Cubase. I've got this project right here. I've got the beat, backing vocals, and lead vocals. So I do not know the key in which this was recorded. I also don't know the tempo. So before I start mixing or do anything to the vocals, I first need to find out what the tempo and so I'm going to use the instrumental to find the key. So I'll get the beat. I usually go to this website here called audiokitchen.com. I'm going to leave the link to this website in the description. So this website basically helps you find the tempo and the key of your song. All you have to do is drop a file in there. So I'll get the beat and drop it here. So once you drop your beat there, just click upload track. And then just wait for it to finish uploading. All right, so once all this is done, your beat will be analyzed and on my right side, you see that you've got the key, which is B minor and the BPM is 100 here. So what you can do to get more information is you can just click on this. It will expand and show you other compatible keys. So you have B minor, D, G flat minor, E minor. So you can try all these keys. So now that you have more information on the project, you can now open your Cubase. This is just my Cubase vocal mixing template. I'll leave the link in the description below. You can now set your tempo here. Just double click and set it to 100. Now you can go back to your project folder and just copy your files and drop them here. Once you drop your files there, you can now arrange them accordingly. So what the Cubase 5 vocal mixing template gives you is um, you'll be able to arrange, uh, for example, your beat. I'll just get my beat and drag it all the way to instrumental. And then I'll get my vocal one and drop it all the way to vocal one. So you can arrange it according to your vocals. Then I'll get my vocal two and drop it all the way vocal two. Then I've got backings left and right. I can just drag them here to left and right. I've got the intro. I'll just drag it to vocal three. All right. So once you do that, you can just delete these tracks that were created. And for those of you that have watched my mixing tutorials, you know that we always bring down the beat by three, negative three. And then I'll just love to bring down the vocals a little bit. All you need to do now is go to your auto tune and add the key. So for this, for this song, if you remember, the key was in B minor and we had some other keys that were compatible. So if you put B minor and you don't feel like it's compatible enough, you can pick whichever key on the list. So for this one, I've said B minor, then let's just listen to this. You say can say my key, you don't turn to Hey baby, you feel to harm me if you know go to Hey baby, if you give me your vote, I go make dollar one naira Hey baby, I go life walk with you, can you pay me in Bitcoin? Hey baby, 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 hey baby So starting a project like this actually uh, gives you much advantage. You know the key, you know the tempo, this will make things very easy for you. 
so thanks a lot for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video you can also follow me on instagram at jdmg let's interact from there see you in my next video peace